one final question for Rick. And uh, Rick, this just popped into my mind because of the conversation I had with Jim before we went on the air about our kids. And I'm thinking, you know, if men are listening right now and you're thinking, man, I don't know if I want to give up a Saturday, I, I just I feel inspired to say, if you don't do it for yourself, do it for your kids. That's right. <laughs> because your kids need a father who loves God, loves your, his wife, and loves his kids. And so do it for them. Do it for your wife. You know, I, I don't know the statistic on this, but I know that I heard it on the radio, I think, if, if men, Catholic men uh, live their faith on a regular basis, their children are more likely to stay in the faith when they, when they go out of the house, right? So the men that don't practice their faith, like 80% of their children don't practice any faith yeah, when yeah. they get out. I don't know what the exact numbers are. Yeah. So it's, in, it's very important for men to stay connected, to stay in fellowship, to increase your faith, especially in today's world. We, 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 we owe it to our kids and, and, it, and like my wife after my kind of reconversion a few few years ago after a chirp retreat she just saw the this amazing change in me that that she just just cannot you know she just loves it and and it's just made a big impact on my kids you know my and so men you owe it to your families you owe it to your wife to become the spiritual leader of your family and this is a good way to see 900 other men in that action. 